Obama wants to overhaul the corporate tax system, says rates should drop. And we've got John McKinnon of the Wall Street Journal in Washington, D.C., going to tell us all about this. He wants to slash the top marginal rate of corporate tax to 28% from 35%. What else? Well, that's the start. He also wants to create a special tax rate effectively for manufacturers, which would be even lower. It would be uh, 25%. And he's also proposing a uh, specific minimum tax for international operations of U.S. multinationals, but he's not specifying that number yet. Okay, what, what, Evan, what do you think of this? This is, this is a combination uh, of uh, what I'd call industrial policy coupled with election policy and has very little to do with the underlying businesses and what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. And uh, I think it probably comes to nothing in Washington, but I'll leave that to Mr. McKinnon. So important question, mm -hmm. Mr. McKinnon, mm -hmm. as Evan wants to call you, and I'll call you John. <laughs> um, what, how likely is this to get through? This would seem to me to have the hallmarks of a Republican bill written all over it in, uh -huh. in, in many ways. That's just me. I think that's right. I think that the White House is trying to steal a little bit of Republican thunder. Remember that Republicans have already been out with proposals to lower the corporate rate to 25 percent. So this is, a, in, in a sense, a Me Too proposal. But in fairness, the president has been talking favorably about lowering uh, tax rates for businesses basically since he uh, took office. And so you have to give them some credit for following through to to some degree on their on their pledge now what I know about making corporate b business decisions because they did walk in, work in corporate America for, for a while is that whatever tax rate you're paying um, average tax rate doesn't mean anything when it comes to planning a new factory what they want to know is what is the top marginal rate and that is the rate you have to use in all your modeling so when it's 35 percent it's really penalizing and I know that when you drop this suddenly a lot of projects that weren't available before because of the returns or the projected returns will suddenly be available is that the idea here yes definitely I mean that is the serious side of this proposal which also has a lot of political aspects to it but you're absolutely right that the um, the top rate really does matter you know, and this just, uh, I think, underlines the fact that even though a lot of companies year in and year out don't pay that top rate, the top rate really matters for uh, planning new facilities because it's the only thing you have to go by. You don't know um, what your effective rate is going to be in future years. You do know what the top rate is going to be. Evan wants to jump in here. Uh, no, I just, uh, John, realistically, um, it, will this Congress pass anything uh, that involves tinkering with the tax code, even if it involves just corporations, over the next 12 months. Uh, from my point of view, narrow point of view, is this is a little bit, it's more tinkering on the margin. It's not a radical overhaul of the corporate tax system, which I think everybody agrees basically needs to happen. Yeah, I think that that's right. There is a, you know, some chance that something can happen at the end of the year. Uh, nothing is going to happen between now and the election, I'm pretty sure. But as you all know, the um, Bush era tax cuts expire at the end of the year. There are a lot of other tax provisions that expire either at the end of this year or have already expired uh, at the end of 2011. So a lot, of, uh, a, a lot of reckoning has to be done at the end of the year. And it is theoretically possible that corporate tax reform could slip into some giant tax package. So there is a possibility of something happened, but overall, I, I'd say the odds are, are not high. And, th and the main reason is, you know, w we just don't have enough tax revenue to deal with a major overhaul. A lot of other countries, particularly Western Europe, have lowered their corporate tax rates a lot, but they rely on a value-added tax to, to raise the revenue. Now, now, John, what are the things, what are the tax dodges that are going to be removed from, from the corporate tax uh, structure? What they're are those called, big... They're called deductions. Okay. What, what dodge, are... dodge suggests illeg illegality. What There's no suggest... dodges here. It's okay. deductions. Okay. What are the deductions? Something that is nothing like a dodge. There are lots of uh, cats and dogs, as they call them in the tax business, that will be uh, addressed uh, eventually in this type of proposal. But the main dodges that you're dealing with uh, are in the international arena, and they involve transferring intellectual property to tax haven countries, uh, drawing a lot of U.S. source income 
uh, into these tax havens so you don't have to pay tax on it. Um, there are lots of ways to use uh, the deductibility of debt to um, lower your tax bill, and there will be some effort, I think, to uh, certainly to address uh, inter intellectual property and tax havens uh, through this minimum tax on, on international operations. And I think there could be something on uh, deductibility of debt as well, which would be huge for the banking industry. John? I think this, I've got to ask you, 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 you must love this. I know you're, you, you claim to be a capitalist, but you must love this. This is great. Right. Right. What, lowering the top rate of corporate tax, I'm sure is going to, a deluge of factories just, will crop I, I, up like snowdrops. absolutely not going to happen because this is, again, tinkering on the margin. When you start to, I mean, fundamentally, the reason why the profits are stashed overseas is because the tax code made that happen. That's why the money is overseas right now um, for a lot of U.S. multinationals. The, the, the fundamental issue that I have, department. John, and I have a question for you. Okay. Down in Washington, it is accepted knowledge, probably in both parties, that you can serve public policy and industrial policy ends by tinkering with the tax code. And as long as that fundamental belief is down there in Washington, you won't get true tax reform. John, your thoughts? Well, we have the tax system that Congress has designed for us. There's no doubt about it. There's nothing really that goes on here that uh, people on Capitol Hill are not aware of. So. Yes, we have the big, messy, uh, inexplicably compl complex system that Congress wants us to have and, and that you know, lots of uh, vested interests want us to have.